Allo? Je vais vraiment la faire. Tu as vu le nom? Oh, si non, ça. Tu as vu le nom de Tudé? Celebrating the life of my father. Ah, oui. Ah, oui. Ah, oui. Ah, oui. Thank you very much. Tu as aimé toi, le grand hospital. Thank you very much. Si non, ça. Like a bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see From up here The world seems small We can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we meant to be, in the great outdoors, forever free. I'm 
Opportunity. I was born in New York City. Yeah. He's a diplomat, so without his endeavors, without his passion to be the best he can be and accomplish these goals, I would not have the opportunity to do what I want to do in my life. So without his sacrifice, I am nothing. Yeah. Okay, let me come to you. Yeah. Right? Um, uh, wait, um, uh, um, let's talk about advice right now. Yeah? Like when you were still alive, you probably have family, right? Um, how, how is this uh, advice like, like when he was alive? Is he the kind of person that discriminates or is the kind of person that brings his children together? What can you tell us about his uh, about that? He was very community based. Like my father was inspired from his father, who was a hard worker, industrious farmer. Yeah, and he grew up. A big sense of community. So basically, you know, he had five children, and each of us are 
we carry his values along with our mothers, but we carry a lot of his core values, ethics, you know, morale when it comes to hard work and education. Um, he used to always tell me when I used to go to work with him um, to, um, to basically help his, his business. You know, after he resigned as the coach from diplomacy, he started the import export business in uh, shea butter and um, soap. As well as um, average, African merchandise. So he used to always tell me, um, see things for yourself, yeah. do things for yourself, yeah. and um, learn things for yourself. So, yeah. and that was one of his main advice. He wanted you to go out there and, yeah. and just experience the world okay. and learn it on your own. And, you know, come back and teach others. So that was the one that was his big, biggest okay. thing. Yeah. yeah, I like that. He said uh, your dad normally advise do something for yourself, do something for yourself. I think for yourself I'm talking now. Can you tell us one or two things that you've learned from or something that you know that you've done? You the know? entrepreneurial spirit yeah, like that. of my father yeah. is top level. Okay. He worked every day hard to accomplish his goals. He didn't wait for anyone to do what he did, what he, what he does. Yeah. So to so watch him as a young child with his business, black soap, as my brother said, his store, and working hard, waking up every day to accomplish his goals, I watch closely with my eyes, and I also embody that and take that with me into my passions and my, and my work. So we believe that you will practice all what you've learned from your father. And today is no more. Yeah? Um, you know, it's God that needs and God takes. Um, I don't know, do you have any special prayer for him now that is no more? I know his life journey was fulfilled, his quest was fulfilled. Yeah. He did everything he was supposed to. So he is at peace. Okay. And I know that. Okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Now, you know, a lot of people came and uh, they left what they are doing and they came because of this area. Um, I, I don't know, do you have anything to say about the people that left their places to come to the area to Can you tell us one or two things about them? Yes, we appreciate you yeah. for taking time out yeah. and help celebrate our father's life and legacy. You yeah. know, um, like I said, he came us through diplomacy, yes. and through that, he he found a way to help others. You know, achieve some of their goals. And, um, and I would add that all the people that are here have been touched yeah. by his essence, okay. his spirit. So to see that the, the show out, the yeah. outcome is beautiful. Yeah. To, to witness it, yeah. to see the love that's in the atmosphere for his life, celebrating it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Remind us your name again. Chinonso. You're the first son, right? I'm the youngest. He's the first. Thank you. God bless you. You're fine. May we know your name? Uchenego. Uchenego. Why are we here today? To celebrate my dad's life. Oh, wow. Um, are you the first or the last daughter? I'm the first daughter. I'm mother. Okay. When your dad was alive, can you tell us one or two things about his attributes when he was alive? My father was an extremely, extremely intelligent individual. Yeah. I myself did not actually know how intelligent he was yeah. until towards the end. Yeah. Really sat down and talked. I was just amazed at his memory. Like, he's just amazing. Amazing. Okay. He had a lot of accomplishments, but those those you hear about. Yeah. But when you're face to face with a person, you can actually see, like, yeah. how amazing he, he was okay. and still is. Because, you know, yeah. he's in us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you, you still have younger ones? I do. Um, now that your dad is no more, what advice do you have for your mom? Uh, encourage I want him to live a life that dad can be proud of, to make a difference in our world. Okay. You know, otherwise, what's the point of living? Okay. We have a very short amount of time. Yeah. Make it count. Do you have any prayer for him? Dad, if you're smiling and you're happy where you are, you're proud of us, we hope to make you even more proud, and I hope you're in heaven. Thank you, bro. Thank you.
I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. They are giving us millions to maintain us. So, our brothers and sisters, you know, who are uh, uh, who are living in America, we are very, very grateful to them. Huh? We are right at the All the sacrifices and efforts people have been making to sustain us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, if I look over the only Lord, we are more from us. When I look at that, we are going to be planning it. Kandini na chukupe hako sire no wanka. Kahada kwa reno zema, ikenzo bute bebe. 
Bawendo ha Biamwa kukwe na Christi Oye buzu
Lord Jesus Christ, that three days you lay in the tomb, you made holy the grace of all who believe in you, and even through their bodies, the plus that they, like you, will rise again. Give our brother, Gabriel, peacefulness in this day, on the day when you, the resurrection of life, you raise him up in the glory. Then may we see the light of your presence, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen.
刚聊没？